Allah created this universe uh, to uh, build uh, this uh, project, uh, to build this earth, uh, and Mecca was uh, the first uh, city to be for uh, a, a house of Allah to be built. Uh, many stages that this uh, the grand the grand mosque in Al Makarrama have been uh, through until the vision of the Kasadavi Tali mosques uh, expansion. Uh, the uh, generations will remember him and will uh, will ask Allah the Almighty for uh, to give him good deeds. Uh, this stage is uh, important for uh, in uh, in during Umar al Khattab may Allah be pleased with him Al Farooq when he started the first expansion of the Grand Mosque by building a, a small a, a short fence. And after eight years, Atman bin Affan may Allah be pleased with him uh, built another expansion that give has given uh, a beautiful image to the Grand Mosque. Abdullah bin Zubair has expanded the uh, area of a tawaf then the Abbasi uh, Caliph Abu Jafar Mansur has expanded it from the uh, west and the uh, north then Muhammad al-Mahdi the son of uh, Abu Jafar Mansur has expanded then Al-Muqtabid has expanded it from the north uh, side then Al-Muqtadir in 306 of Al Hijra expanded uh, the more uh, land to the Grand Mosque. Then the uh, a the total area of the Grand Mosque at that time was uh, one uh, for, for one thousand sixty nine uh, years. Uh, the expansion uh, stayed at uh, from the Abbasi era until the until the founder of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Majesty King Abdullah bin Abdurrahman al Saud, may Allah rest his soul in peace, expanded, uh, has uh, have built the first big, huge expansion with the uh, with the two uh, ground, two floors, uh, or two stories. Then after that, King Saud bin Abdul Aziz and King Faisal, may Allah rest, uh, rest soul in peace, they have completed what uh, their father, the King Abdul Aziz bin Abdul Rahman al Saud. Then the uh, another expansion uh, took uh, place in the reign of uh, the custodian of the Tawri mosques, uh, Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, may Allah rest his soul in peace, uh, which have expanded more. Also, the roof of the Grand Mosque has been prepared uh, for the worshippers uh, to uh, to add more capacity to the Grand Mosque. But recently, in the recent years, uh, we the Grand Mosque has witnessed increasing number of worshippers, and with the development of the transportation transportation means uh, that uh, put um, the uh, it have uh, helped uh, bringing more pilgrims and the Kassad and the mosques uh, have also uh, started the expansion of uh, al Mas'a uh, through three uh, uh, through uh, and also the width of uh, the al Mas'a it was uh, from it uh, from uh, it has been expanded as well and the work uh, continued uh, through a very intensive study or incentive uh, study intensive studies uh, the uh, and the expansion will be three times of uh, the um, of uh, the current expansion therefore the uh, grand mosque in the future and in, in the in the ordinary cir uh, circumstances will be accommodated 1 million 600 thousand uh, pilgrims and visitors to the Grand Mosque and it could accommodate more in the uh, uh, religious seasons. Also uh, from the the expansion will be uh, starting from the north and there will be some courts uh, or outside courts and bridges and and also there will be Pesadarians walking 
lanes and there will be also hospitals, uh, central air conditioning station, civil defense centers, uh, and they will be integrating to, um, uh, uh, to compose a modern vision, ensuring the safety of pilgrims and AMRA performers and to make it, to make the ease and comfort for them to reach the Grand Mosque. The expansion of the Tohri mosques uh, have started from a Shamia area where uh, the pilgrims will be uh, praying toward the Qibla. This uh, building uh, cost, uh, this building cluster will be uh, will have two uh, minarets which add, will add uh, which add in total to 11 minarets in the grand mosque and it will be um, it will ease the crowd management and there will be some bridges to link between the parts of the Grand Mosque, especially from the new expansion, and between the northern, uh, then it will, and also it will uh, accommodate more visitors. This, uh, the, in the north courts, there will be umbrellas that are going to be opening and uh, closing automatically. And there will be uh, bathrooms and pollution areas. Uh, and also, it has, and or according to the topographic nature of Mecca, they were this expansion had been built. And in addition to this, uh, we uh, the, we have the, there have been bathrooms and also operational and administrative facilities uh, that have been added. The, there also there there will be the ring roads which is being uh, will go through the uh, through the mosque. There, were, there also have been um, the hospitals, civil defense have been built uh, close, and there will be a service uh, tunnel that goes uh, through the, this uh, expansion. And from the uh, gate of the custodian of the Tolly Mosque, we'll walk in into uh, the uh, uh, expansion, and we'll see this dome that opens and closes. And in the uh, sides, there will be uh, prayer rooms in four levels that has been expanded, that has been divided into, uh, that has been is, is expanded, uh, or divided into core, into areas. This is the reign, the reign of the custodian of the Tolly mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz. Uh, continue what uh, the uh, what the uh, the uh, guided Caliph Omar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, uh, started. Therefore, this is a very important, uh, critical stage of expansion of the Tolly mosques. Oh, custodian of the Tolly mosques, uh, with your the noble directives, this uh, project, this a uh, huge a magnificent project that you have asked for this project to be executed in two years it will the project will continue with this will start continue working for 24 hours continuously